we have learnt to solve these kinds of simple linear equations in one variable. Friends, now in this session, we will learn how to solve some complex linear equation in one variable. Come on, let's start. Seema has been given this equation and she is asked whether the equation is a linear equation in one variable or not. Now, as you can see that, in the entire equation, only one variable x is present. So, we can say that this equation is definitely an equation in one variable. But variable x is present both in the denominator and the numerator on the left-hand side. So, is this a linear equation in one variable? What do you think? Let us help Seema find this out. As of now, this equation doesn't seem to be a linear equation in one variable because the variable x is in the denominator as well. But, can we change such type of equations into linear equations in one variable? For this, we have to remove x from the denominator. How do we do this? We will have to multiply the left and right hand side with 2x minus 4. Thus, these two terms will get cancelled. So now, our equation will look like this. Now, after multiplying both the sides by 5, we will get the equation. So note, we have already seen many such types of equations in the previous sessions. This is a linear equation in one variable. Now, look at these steps very carefully. Do you think we could have arrived at the equation in just one step? Let us see if this can be done. Let us move the expressions which are present in the denominators of both sides to the opposite side. When we do that, they are multiplied with the expressions already present in the numerators. So, 5 is moved from the denominator of the right hand side to the numerator of the left hand side and 2x minus 4 is moved from the denominator of the left-hand side to the numerator on the right-hand side. We can see that we have got the same equation in just one step. We have seen here that the expressions of denominators are multiplied when they are moved to the other side. This method is called cross-multiplication. Now we can see that this is a linear equation with one variable. When we remove the brackets on both sides of the equation, we get this equation. In the previous sessions, we have seen that how to solve these kinds of equations. We move the terms with variables to one side and move the terms with constants to the other side. And then we get this equation. Now we have to divide both sides by 3. And this way, we find the value of x is equal to 46 by 3. So, in this session, we saw how cross multiplication helps to solve complex linear equations in one variable. In the next session, we will see some more interesting examples to understand this concept better.